Okay, today I've got the C3 from Jiru. These guys are an Amazon seller. It's got some high reviews on Amazon so far. The bike is packed with some pretty good stuff like dual disc brakes, a large rider size for the frame, some suspension, lots of power for the size, and it only costs $599. So let me break everything down for you and show you what it can do. Now the C3 has got a lot of power for the size, a 450 watt motor, and that is powered with a 36 volt, 10.5 amp hour battery that takes three hours for recharge. It's got three pedal assist levels and a half twist throttle. At the highest level, it's supposed to get you up to 18.6 miles per hour. Going to test to see if that's true. Also going to show you how fast it can go on each of the pedal assist levels, starting off with mode one. Looks like one is 10, two is 11, and three is also 10, 11. So they're pretty much all the same. And throttle goes all the way up to 18. Okay, now it's time to show you how long it takes to hit that top speed just with the throttle. Now the bike is deceivingly heavy. It's 46 pounds. It only looks like 20, 25 pounds, but it's 46. It can carry a rider up to 265 pounds. Pretty slow off the line. Gradually gaining power and speed. There's 15. That's a gentle acceleration, so not gonna throw you off the bike. That takes about probably a block to hit the top speed. The C3 has a range rating of 28 to 45 miles. For this first test, just some easy riding. Gonna go as fast as the bike can go, 18 miles per hour, and with very few stops. I've lost my first battery bar and I've hit 7.68 miles. Two battery bars gone and I've hit 11.46 miles. Okay guys, well while I'm on the range test, I'll talk to you about the bike, how the feature specs, things like that. The handlebars collapse down, the pedals fold, and then the seat can go down. So when fully collapsed, it is easy to fit into the back seat of the car. The front and rear fenders are already pre-installed, so really not a lot to do out of the box. It comes 95% assembled. Now as far as balance, these types of bikes really don't offer great balance. I can do it for a few seconds. The way this handles is my favorite part of the bike. I can rip around a corner, hit the brakes, slide a little bit, and be just fine. It's just super easy to manage, which makes sense because it's just a small, tiny bike, but it's a fun bike to ride. Three battery bars gone, and I've hit 15.14 miles. As far as the geometry, it's actually pretty spacious from my waist to the handlebars. The handlebar length is a little bit short. It's about four or five inches wider than my shoulders. Another favorite feature is how quiet it is. There's zero noise coming from the motor. It is absolutely silent. You got some nice smooth wheels, and so there's not a lot of noise coming from the tires. Now diving into the cockpit, I already talked about the handlebar length. Uh, they do adjust. There's this quick release lever, and you can rotate them front or back. The grips are pretty cheap filling, something that you would expect for a bike in this price range. They are wingtip and stationary. This is a single speed bike, so there's no shifters, just one speed. The saddle is actually pretty nice. They put a lot of cushion on that. Below that are the 14 inch street tires, and those are nice. As I mentioned before, they don't make a lot of noise on the trail. This is a very quiet bike. They've got some great traction. Again, I've taken some corners of some fast speeds and they just stick right to it. There's no front suspension, but there is rear. So they've kind of taken care of the rear part of the bike with the nice padded seat. I wish they would have added some type of front suspension. Hitting these cracks and lines in the trail, it does shake the front of the bike pretty good. I'm down to my last battery bar. I've lost four out of the five and I've gone 18.13 miles. As far as pedal assist sensitivity, I've got it on speed mode three. Going nine miles an hour, if I start to pedal, here's one about one and a half revolution before the power comes on. And again, that first level only goes up to 10, 11 miles per hour. Just kind of cruising at nine, if I stop pedaling, it's about a half a second before it cuts off. Now with the throttle, going uh, 10 miles an hour if I release, instantly cuts out. If I re-engage, it comes on immediately, but it does take a few seconds to build up. And there is about an inch of play before it engages. And you do get full power on the throttle. It doesn't depend on the assist level. Now this is the no power test. Turned off the bike just to see how it would be to pedal this on my own power. And not the most comfortable to pedal, especially if you're taller. I'm 5'11", my knees are about six inches away from the grips. I do feel like a clown on a clown bike. But as far as the pressure in the cranks, it's not that bad. It's a single gear and they've really made that quite easy to pedal. So you go fairly slow, but it can be done. Okay, the first range test is done. My app recorded 18.36 miles with 283 feet of elevation gain, which is pretty awesome. Getting close to 20 miles on this little bike is, that, that's impressive. Anyway, I'm gonna charge it back up and do a second range test, this time riding it a lot harder with much more stop and go.
first battery bar gone and I've hit 5.31 miles. Two battery bars gone and I've hit 9.67 miles. Three battery bars gone and I've hit 14.14 miles. Okay, the second race test is complete and just in time it has just started to pour out there. Well, Utah pouring, which is like maybe 100 or 200 raindrops. <laughs> Anyways, my app recorded 14.63 miles, which is about four miles less than the first range, but it did have 698 feet of elevation gain, which is 400 more than the first range test. You know, three, four mile difference between easy riding and hard riding, not too bad. There's no torque rating for the C3, but it can climb up to a 50% grade hill. Uh, this is gonna be six to eight percent grade, about a half a block long. It starts to climb right off the bat. I do have a full charge on the bike. Just barely unplugged it. Let's see what it can do. Okay, here's where it starts to climb. I'm not pedaling, just straight throttle. Down to six. Oh, this is the steepest part of the hill. This has gotta be maybe nine, 10% here, yeah. It's, down to four, got to pedal now. Put a little bit of effort, help it out. Back up to five. You know, it honestly has better climbing power than I thought for something this small. 185 pound rider, 10% grade hill. That's pretty impressive. Last test is testing out the dual disc brakes. Okay, let's test out these brakes going down the same hill. I just came up with a hill test. So lightly pressing them. No pulsating, no squeaking, which is nice. Get some speed. With some hard braking. Woo! That back wheel does scream at you, which is actually quite fun. A lot of times with bikes this small, when I slam on the brakes, it actually pops up the back tire and I go flying over the handlebars or almost go flying. Uh, this one's not like that. It's very stable for hard braking, so good. I like it. Let me run through the LCD screen and control pad. So power button here, fairly small screen, but is easy to see in the daylight. There's an M button, that's just how you change the different speed modes. If you hold that down, you can view different readouts. On the left, there's the lights. There's a light just above the wheel here. Then you got a tail light at the very end of the battery. Then a nice sounding horn, which matches the look of the bike. The C3 has an IP54 waterproof rating, a one year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. Now, overall, my favorite feature with the C3 is how it rides, how it handles. It's just a very fun bike to ride. Anybody who rides a lot of bikes needs to add one of these in their collection. If you wanna pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also, be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sorted by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.